Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you who are new here, my name's Mark, so welcome. And if you've been here before, then thanks for coming back again. I know it's been a wee while since I uploaded anything. But anyway, I'm here to make it up to you. I've got this gorgeous kind of warm, smoky eye to bring us into fall slash autumn. And really, we're here to celebrate the fact that pumpkin spice lattes are back at Starbucks. Whoop, 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 whoop because, of course, all us basic bitches have to walk around drinking them until they go again. So, anyway, if you want to see how to see this look and learn how to do this look, then stay tuned. If not, then cheerio. So let's just get right into it. Now, what I've already done is my brows, which you'll see I have been doing my brows will be a bit different recently, so my next video is going to be an updated brow routine, how you get that kind of fluffiness but sharpness and definition at the same time. I have then just prepped my base with the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer and I have set it with a nude eyeshadow which I know I'm like right down to pan with it, so I need to get another one. So what I'm going to do is start to build up my transition colour. I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit colour, and this is in the shade Cinnamon. You'll see it's just a nice kind of warm, warm, warm kind of burnt orange tone. I'm going in with my trusty Longcom number 17 blending brush, taking just a wee bit of that colour, just a wee bit at a time, and I'm very lightly starting in my crease. Now, because I want it that nice rounded shape, I'm not going to be starting on the outer corner. What I do is I start in line with the pupil of the eye, smack bang in the centre of the crease, and then I start to very lightly window wiper that colour down towards the inner corner, back again, and then C shape around when we get to the outside there. Then blend that out by circling clockwise and circling anti-clockwise when we're coming back in again. There we go, both eyes done. Very easy, you'll see we've got that nice rounded shape that's really nice and buffed out. It is up a wee bit higher on the inner corner than it is around the outside, but to get that perfect kind of rounded shape, of course you're going to kind of be a wee bit higher in here. And then because of the arch of your brow, it naturally misses your brow bone. Next, I'm going to go in with this exceedingly, exceedingly used... Look at it! Oh, it's a mess! Um, Naked Ultimate Basics palette by Urban Decay. And I'm going to go in with the shade Extra Bitter, which is this really, really warm tone. That kind of brings out that pumpkin-y um, tone to the eye look. And I'm just going to pack that all over my entire lid. So easy to do this look. So easy. So the brush I'm going to go in with is the Makeup Forever 228 brush. It's kind of like a flat packing on brush. I'm just taking loads of that shade Extra Bitter. Really, really nice and buttery. And I'm just packing it on right along the lash line and over the entire lid. Right down to that inner corner of the eye and the outer corner of the eye. So I'm creating that kind of half moon shape right into the crease where we put the Coco Bear shade and then I'm going back to the brush that I used for my transition colour and I'm very very lightly, like very lightly tickling just over the edge into the crease to blend my extra bitter Extra bitter? Yes, extra bitter into Coco Bear. There we go, very, very easy so far. But you can start to see that kind of pumpkin spice influence. Now, next I want to start making it a wee bit more sultry right in at the lash line. So I'm going in with the Urban Decay shadow called Blackout. I'm going in with Blackout because you all know it's like my ultimate favourite. I'm going in with a wee pencil brush. This is the Makeup Forever pencil brush. And there is really no real technique to this, to be honest with you. I'm just starting to kind of press this along the lash line. I don't have to be particularly neat with it. Right from that outer corner 
into the inner corner. Now this shadow is super pigmented, so please to avoid drop out and stuff like that, take a wee bit at a time, and then start to build up the colour. Don't be taking loads and loads of it and then packing it on because you're just going to look a riot by the end of it. Now we go right along the lash line there, down to the inner corner. Then I'm going to go back to that original blending brush that we used in the crease and just very lightly start to soften the black out into the extra bitter colour we've got all over the lid. Now, aren't we starting to get that nice sultry finish? Alan slags me like all the time because I always use the word sultry and apparently when I say the word sultry I always go like this. Sultry. They like, always kind of lower my eyes a wee bit. Anyway, I then want to kind of make the lash line because the whole point in this look is it's a full matte look but I want it to be really intense around the definition of the shape of my eye and then getting kind of buffed out and warmer on the outside. So I'm going to intensify along the lash line. I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Aqua Black Gel Liner and I'm just going to work that along very very close into the roots of the top lashes. You won't overly see it because I've got that blackout shadow along anyway, but it's really just to add that extra bit of definition. I'm just going in with my wee liner brush and I'm pressing it all the way along right into the roots of the lashes. I tell you, people do not appreciate how hard it is trying to do your liner along your lash line whilst looking into a mirror. Well, I was making sure that you guys can see it in the camera. I'm literally like, I feel like I'm just kind of feeling where I'm going as opposed to actually being able to see what I'm doing. So hopefully this looks okay on camera. Um, the top is pretty much done to be honest with you. I mean, it's like a really easy look to do. Um, I'm just going to go on with loads of mascara onto the top lashes. Now, when Alan and I were in London a few weeks ago, we literally just bought so much makeup, it was ridiculous. But anyway, one thing we did pick up each was the L'Oreal Paris Paradise Ecstatic. I just keep calling it L'Oreal Paradise Mascara, but anyway, L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. Now, oh my god, this is possibly one of the blackest mascaras I've ever used in my life. Like, it's so black. So I'm really just going to load that along. It's got quite a nice big fluffy brush. Do you see that? So that I can really... Oh my goodness, what is this? <gasps> this hand. Oh no, it's on both hands! Anyway, it's got a nice bushy brush. <laughs> Loads of that into the roots of your lashes, pulling it through. Now, isn't that a black mascara? The only thing, and it's both a plus and a negative, I suppose, is that the past couple of times I've worn it, I've like dreaded coming home to get it off. Because it's so pigmented and it's so black, it is a wee bit of a bitch to get off, to be honest with you. But nothing that a good amount of eye makeup remover and a wee bit of patience can't solve, and I suppose it's worth it in the long run for the look you get, but aye, it's a wee bit hard to go off. So. The top's pretty much done apart from adding false lashes, which I'll do at the end. So I'm now just going to start working on the under, na under eye to really balance out because it is quite a top heavy look at the moment. But I really want to get that rounded, sultry finish. So the underneath would pretty much do the exact same as we've done on top. Like I'm talking identical to what we've done on top, we do underneath. So as you know, on top I started with Anastasia um, Cinnamon. Oh, I called this Coco Bear earlier, didn't I? Oh, it's a makeup geek shadow. Anyway, Anastasia Cinnamon. I am going on with a pencil brush just to start to build up that colour through the lower lashes. I'm then going in with one of my favourite brushes nowadays. It's the Zoeva 224 Lux Defined Crease. But it's like a really kind of wispy, sparse blending brush. It's really small and I just find it's the perfect 
size for blending out and softening out your underneath colour. And then when I get to the outside, I C-shape to make sure that bottom is joined on to the top. Next, as you know, we went along the lid with Extra Bitter from the Ultimate Basics Naked Palette. So, I'm doing the exact same. I'm just working through the lower lashes. A bit of Extra Bitter. With a wee pencil brush. So then, next, you know, on top, we went along the lash line with Blackout. So, I'm doing the exact same underneath. I'm going through the lower lashes with a wee pencil brush. In fact, no, I'm going to keep it a wee bit tighter. I'm going to go through with this kind of small detailed brush from Makeup Forever. It's the Makeup Forever 105 brush and I'm going to smudge the blackout through the lower lashes. Outer corner to inner corner. Then I'm going back to that wee pencil brush and I'm just going to blend the black into the extra bitter. Next, doing exactly what I've done on top, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Gel Liner and I'm taking that into the waterline. Then final stage that we've done on top, mascara onto the lower lashes. Okay, so obviously I have zero complexion on just now, so this look does look really dark, really grungy on the eyes. So I'm just going to pop off camera, throw on some foundation and a base, and I will be back in a split second to finish off the look. Okay, so I have thrown a quick base on. I've not put on, I've really just used powders. I've not done my contour, highlight or blush or anything like that yet, because I'm going to do that on camera for you. Um, but you can see how instantly the eyes looked more balanced out as soon as I have got my base on. Of course, I'm now a completely different colour because I had to try and match my face to my tan, etc. I have got that stuff off my hands. Thank God, how embarrassing. Anyway, we're going to finish this eye look off with lashes. I'm going in with my Hollywood Lash K32. Um, so I'm just going to pop them on. They are really nice and full in at the root, but super wispy out on the outsides, which is exactly what I want for this look, because we want it intense and around the base of the eye, then obviously a lot softer on the outside. Now, what a difference a pair of lashes makes, eh? Definitely looking very pumpkin spice latte. And for contour, um, basically Makeup Forever have launched these new um, artist colours. And it's a case of you pick your own palette. So you pick your own contour shade, you pick your own blusher, you pick your own highlighter, and you actually customise them all into um, palettes, which is really cool. So I am going to use the contour shades. Now, I have, could not find... Well, I could find it's in my kit, to be honest with you. And my kit's in the car. So I wasn't going to the car to get it. But I've got the old packaging of one of the contour colours. And this is just number two. I'm going in with the MAC... Ooh. MAC 163 brush. Nice wee angled, used to be white brush. Uh, and I'm just going to start building up a wee bit of that colour just up at the hollow of the cheek and a wee bit around the hairline there. For highlights, I have got the golden tone here and the copper tone here. Now this copper tone is, and I completely appreciate for darker skin tones, but look at me. I clearly like to look like I'm a darker skin tone. So you have got the gold highlighter here, which I shall swatch for you. Now, you must admit, good ass highlighter. And you've got the copper tone here, which I shall swatch. Now, 
who would ever say they are not amazing? So anyway, I'm going to use both of them. I'm going to go on with a fan brush with the gold colour here and I'm just going to start to work that fanning onto the top of the cheekbones there and just ever so lightly above the arch of my brow kind of blending into that contour around the hairline now, I hate it when you've got like the two stripes, do you know what I mean? You've got the highlight, you've got the contour and it's like stripe, stripe, stripe. So that's where I love this kind of copper colour because it's like a transition highlight, or almost like your blusher would be. So I'm going to use it really just a very, very lightly, I'm talking like a tiny wee bit, blush, um, blend in between where I've put the highlighter and then where the contour is, do you know what I mean? So just lightly sweeping around above the temple and lightly sweeping just underneath my highlight and it will kind of give you that more subtle transition between your contour and your highlighter. It'll look a lot more natural but also a lot more intense at the same time. So the brush I'm using, I'm going in with the Lancome Cheek and Contour. It's like a wee double-ended brush. Going in with a bit of that copper tone. And I'm just lightly buffing it between the two colours. But it'll give you that overall nice like dewy effect to the entire skin. So then all I have to finish with is a lip to tie in this look. Now coming into autumn slash whatever you are in the world, fall, I do like a darker lip. But not too dark. I don't suit a dark lip, but I like it a bit darker. So I'm going to go from my normal lip liner, which I would normally use 5C in the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip, I'm going for 7C, which is like this deep, cool toned brown. It is a gorgeous lip liner. And I'm just going to lip my, lip my lines, lip my lines, line my lips. You know I like to overdraw my lips. Don't slag me, I don't have any lips. So I'll quickly overdraw them there. So once I've lined my lips, I do like to kind of colour in and pull that lip liner into the centre a wee bit more. Oh, so much better. I hate having small lips. And then I'm going to finish with, now, in the UK and Ireland, these are brand new. Everywhere else in the world, they've been out for about a year or more. So if you're in the UK, eventually we've got them. If you're everywhere else, this is all tat to you. So this is the Makeup Forever um, Artist um, Liquid Lipsticks. I'm going in with shade 103, which is a light kind of warm peachy nude tone. I think it will tie in lovely with the eyes and the complexion. And I'm really just working this on the centre of the lips. I'm not pulling it right to the outside. Lovely. So I'll let my hair down. Oh, I've got one of those kind of telephone wire uh, um, bobbles in, you know the ones I mean. Oh my god, but they're so sore to get out. And there we have it. So that is the finished look. I think it is the perfect look for the end of summer into the colder weather, the season change. We're not going too dark, we're not going too glam because it's not quite Christmas yet, but we're starting to kind of build in that Halloween, like, pumpkin spice finish. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, if you enjoyed this tutorial, if you like my videos, please do give me a big thumbs up below. Please do comment. Um, below as well, um, especially if you've got any videos or anything that you want to see me do or if you've got any questions for me um, about anything in general. Um, yeah, make sure you hit that wee bell button below because it'll give you notifications of when I do very rarely upload a new video. And if you want to follow me more regularly then make sure you get me on Instagram and um, Snapchat as well. So again, thanks so much for watching. Have a great week. Bye.